This is Eric Manley from Drake University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the location sensor on a phone or a tablet to create applications inside of App Inventor that know where they are in the world. Okay, so to start out with, what you'll need to do is set up the screen with a couple of labels. So I have two labels here. I'm calling them latitude label and longitude label. And the reason for that is that we're just going to use these for now to display the latitude and the longitude of where our device is located. Um, so initially I have some messages showing on the label like waiting for latitude or waiting for longitude because sometimes when you use this you'll notice that it might take a little bit of time for it to get its first location. And if that's the case you want to make sure that the user knows that um, it's not that the app isn't working, we're just waiting for that information to become available. All right, so once you have the screen set up, um, we need to add one more thing. So look underneath the sensors drawer, and you'll find the location sensor. Location sensor, you can drag it onto your screen, and it becomes a non-visible component. And um, there are a couple things you might want to look at in the properties in the properties pane over here. Um, first of all, ensure that ensure that it's enabled. Um, and then you'll also notice that there's something called distance interval and time interval. This tells the, the, the app how often it should update the location. So for instance, this is like the number of meters of distance traveled before it should tell you that it has uh, found a new location. Or in this case, 60,000, that means that 60,000 milliseconds or a, um, one minute is the amount of time between how often it'll check to see if it has a new location. Um, let's set this to be something much smaller, say 1,000. That'll be every one second. It's not guaranteed that it'll happen every second, but um, certainly we don't want it going any slower than that. Okay, so once you have your location sensor set up, go over to your blocks, and let's find the location sensor block drawer. You'll notice that it has an event handler for whenever the location has been changed. So let's drag that out. Okay, whenever the location has been changed, this event will fire, and then we'll be able to do something with the latitude, the longitude, and so on. Um, and just to test this out, what we're going to do is have this uh, display the values on the latitude label and the longitude label. So I'm going to go get the setters for the text of the latitude label and the longitude label. So we're going to change what is being displayed. And what are we going to display? Well, we want the values that are actually uh, reported by the location sensor. So it will tell us the latitude and the longitude and the altitude. We only care about the latitude and longitude for this example. So I'm going to use the getters for the longitude and the latitude. Um, these are the things that were returned by the location sensor when this event fired. And we're just going to display them on the device. Okay. Once you have that going, you can go ahead and connect to a device. Now, a word of warning is that sometimes um, this, this testing uh, can take a little while. So what I would suggest is first try connecting with the AI companion like you normally do. Um, wait a little while and see if the location comes up. And if it doesn't, it might be better to build the APK um, and then scan the QR code for it and download it onto your phone. I'll show you what's happening on mine right now. Okay, so... I've got the location showing up. Um, you'll see it shows them, you know, 41, negative 93. That's the location where this device is right now. And it's just displaying using those two labels. All right. And if that doesn't work um, right away, again, uh, sometimes it has trouble finding a position, say, indoors. So you might go test it over by a window or even take it outside. Uh, and then once you have that going, we can use this information to build apps which, you know, do something interesting based on what the location of the device is.